So we're making okra today. So in goes our oil. In okra we need a little bit more oil. Yeah, mum, a lot more oil. <laughs> because it's a sticky okra. So we've probably got about three to four tablespoons of oil in there. Yeah, that really, maybe even more. And we're just gonna let that oil heat up in our wok. This is going to be different to the way we made okra last time. So, are you making this one with yogurt, aren't you, Mum? Yeah. This, yeah. This, really? are you, yeah. Yeah. With yeah. yogurt. Yeah. 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 So, I'll show you how we've cut the okra. So, cut them lengthways, and also going to have in there onions. First, going the mustard seed. So, okay, first. In goes our mustard seeds. When mustard seed dancing, then after we put the asafoetida. Yeah. Okay, so we're waiting for our, dust, our mustard seeds to dance. Okra are so healthy for you. Really, really healthy. Good for your bone. Yeah, definitely. And we actually eat quite a bit of okra. And you can actually buy okra now from the supermarkets. Yeah, in Pekin's so frozen. Yeah, the selling. frozen section. And it's quite, yeah. it's very good quality as well. But when you use before you wash. I have to wash and it. And when you wash, you see it's like sticky. Like so, glue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but don't worry. When it's cooked, then it's going perfect. I'll remove it all the way. Okay. And see our mustard seeds are starting to move around a little bit. We're just waiting for them to pop before we add our asafoetida. So last time we made the dry potato and okra curry. Now we didn't add our asafoetida now. Yep. Yeah. So that goes in. Yeah. The onions? Yeah, one small onion. So one small onion sliced finely. So we actually use baby onions in this, but if you don't have baby onions, then a, a small regular brown onion. If you can find baby onions, there's about four or five baby onions, Mom? Yeah, five. Yeah, five baby onions, so really just very small ones. And we're just going to give that a bit of a stir. Yeah, a little bit brown. Just a little bit brown? Yeah. So our onions have softened? Yeah. Enough? Yeah, then we put curry paste. Okay, curry paste. We, I put a little water inside. Yeah. Then I put curry How paste much in. curry paste, Mum? One and a half tablespoon. One and a half tablespoon? Yeah, I like strong little bit. So it's gonna. So one and a half tablespoons of curry paste and we just made into a smoother paste by adding a little bit of water. Yeah. And two two tablespoons of so two tablespoons of tomato. diced tinned tomatoes. Yeah. So you can have fresh tomatoes if you want, but tinned tomatoes are just as good. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Yeah. Take this everything out. So we're just taking it out of the bowl that we had our curry paste in. Yeah. Let's add in. So probably about two to three tablespoons of water. No, Not much. No. no. Two. Two, two tablespoons. Okay. Yeah. Two tablespoons of water. Then our curry paste going to cook perfect again and come in the oil out. Oh, okay. So the water actually helps the curry paste. No burn. Yeah, not yeah. stick to the bottom of the yeah. pan. And when it's done, your pipe is just going not bit, very nice. Yeah. yeah, then you want to delete the little water. So I can see we're just giving it a good stir. You see oil coming out? Yeah, and you can see the oil sizzling at the sides now. Yeah, then That's what we're waiting for. Yeah. Yep. How much oak could you have, Mum? About 200 grams? Yeah, 200 yeah. grams. 200 yeah. grams. Yeah. Now, if you want, you can add sliced potatoes like chips yeah, yeah into yeah. this I like that 
So just um, slice your potatoes like you would if you're making homemade chips. And then you can add that in there. Are you giving that a good stir? Yeah. And now slow this color. So now we're going to put it on a medium low. Mm -hmm. like so it was this. on high yeah. until then. Like so it's quite low, yeah. yeah. On a low heat. And cover, yeah. And just cover. Yeah. How long are we going to cover it for? Four or five minutes. About five minutes, yeah. okay. So it's been about five minutes. So we're just going to give it a quick stir to see how it's um, cooking. Now I put the lot. Put on high heat? High heat, yeah, medium high. Okay, so we'll just yeah. increase the heat to a uh, medium high. I'm hungry. Nisha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mum, we know you're hungry. Make for me roti. How long do we, before we add the yogurt? No. No? Yeah. This one is nice. So we're using it. Yeah. Mum's showing off our homemade yogurt. Yeah. So how are we going to add the yogurt, Mum? One, two, one spoon. Yeah. Two spoon. Yeah. Three spoon. Okay. A little bit more here. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a yogurt in the bowl. Yeah. And we add the water, yeah? Okay. Add the water. Yeah. Never add yogurt like that straight into the pan because it'll curdle. So we always add water and whisk it before we put it into the pan. So we've got the yep, cup, yeah. a cup of water. So probably just a little bit under a cup, but yeah. I would use a whisk for this. I'll yeah. get you one, Mum. Oh, you got one? Yes, I do. Okay. So, whisk that yogurt and water together, and then we're going to add it to our okra. So there you go. Because if you whisk it, it won't curdle, right, Mum? Yes. And uh, you want you don't want to leave it. You do like this. Yeah, you have to keep there, stirring. Yeah. So don't stop stirring. So it's on a high heat, remember? And you're just going to keep stirring that so that the yogurt doesn't curdle. This is a really, really delicious dish. And if you're vegan, like me, you can use coconut yogurt, can't yeah, you, Yeah, coconut yogurt, almond yogurt. Or coconut milk? Yeah, co not coconut milk, no. Not no? milk, no? yogurt, no. Just yogurt? Yeah, yogurt. Okay, don't use coconut and milk. put a little bit tamarind. Sweet. Tamarind? Yeah, Oh, tamarind. tamarind would be nice in there. Put a little bit tamarind and it's chutney inside. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that would be really then nice. Then it's a little bit sour and sweet. Yeah. So, mmm. So coconut yogurt with a little bit of tamarind chutney in there. We're moving to the middle. How long do we have to keep stirring for mum? How long do we take? Bubbles. Bubbles to the yeah. top. And then okay. after we stop. Okay, so it shouldn't be too long. So it's been about a minute or so. And you can see it's already started bubbling or simmering at the sides. And that pretty much means that it's almost ready, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. So, it's such an right, easy yeah. dish. No, it's all right. You don't want that. All right, now put the heat down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit heat down. Okay. And put the salt. So, salt to taste, taste now? Yeah. And, and in the end, you yeah. put a little bit garam masala. A little bit of garam masala, just a little yeah. bit for this yeah, one, yeah? yeah. And it's ready, yeah? Yeah, then it's ready, yeah. Yeah. So how long would you leave it on a medium? I want half. Reduce it down? Reduce half the okay. yogurt, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna, it's on a high. Again, I put the high. And yeah. we're just gonna let it go, keep stirring. Yes. Because okra cook very cook, they cook. Very quickly? Very quickly, yeah, they cook. Yeah. You don't need long time. You just want to reduce, reduce the, the sauce down. Yeah. So it's reduced enough now. We're just gonna add a little bit of garam masala at the top. Mm. Garam masala really elevates and the look, dish. And look, the juice really nice. Oh, the sauce is yeah. Nice, thick, yeah. yeah. Now it's ready. Off the gas, yeah. I put the garam masala. Now what? 
And all ready to eat. Yeah, ready for eating.